There are two fifth-generation cephalosporins, ceftaroline fosamil and ceftolozane. Ceftaroline fosamil is a prodrug and its active metabolite is ceftaroline. On the other hand, ceftolozane is a structural analog of the third-generation cephalosporin ceftazidime and is normally found co-formulated with the beta-lactamase inhibitor tazobactam. The fifth-generation cephalosporins share the same mechanism of action as other cephalosporins. Cephalosporins kill bacteria by interfering with the transpeptidation reaction by binding to and inhibiting transpeptidase. Cephalosporins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors and are bactericidal. For more details on this mechanism, please refer to the video that focuses on cephalosporins as a whole. Beta-lactamase degradation remains a concern with fifth-generation cephalosporins. Interestingly, ceftaroline is able to be active against methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aurelius, or MRSA, by having increased binding to transpeptidase. Fifth-generation cephalosporins share mechanisms of resistance that other cephalosporins possess. Refer to the video that covers cephalosporins as a whole for more details. Fifth-generation cephalosporins really shine when it comes to tough bugs like methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aurelius and Pseudomonas species. Ceftaroline has similar gram-negative activity as cefotaxime, which includes most gram-negatives with the exception of B. fragilis. However, what really sets ceftaroline apart is its pumped-up gram-positive coverage, which includes coverage of MRSA and penicillin-resistant S. pneumoniae. Ceftolozane has increased activity against Pseudomonas species and is co-formulated with the beta-lactamase inhibitor tazobactam to provide increased activity against enterobacteriaceae. Ceftolozane's main action is against gram-negative bacteria. The adverse effects of fifth-generation cephalosporins are similar to the adverse effects described in the cephalosporin overview video. Hypersensitivity to the beta-lactam ring remains the most common adverse effect. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.